In this video, we will be learning how to subtract two signed fractions. An important concept is double negatives. This occurs when an expression asks us to subtract a negative number. For example, 6 minus negative 2. Subtracting a negative number simplifies to adding the same number, so this would simplify to 6 plus 2. How do I remember that two negatives make a positive? Well, a helpful trick to remember so if you take two negative signs, take this one, flip it, combine it with the first one, you get a positive sign. So two negatives end up as a plus sign. We can also think of it like a double negative in English. If we're not not great at math, that means we really are great at math. How does this work with fractions? With fractions, the process is similar. If two negative fractions are being subtracted, the first step is to get rid of the double negation. Then we have a positive fraction being added to another fraction, and we follow the steps for fraction addition or subtraction. The first step in that is to make sure the two fractions share a denominator. After we have a shared denominator, we can add or subtract the numerators. And after you've added or subtracted the numerators, you end up with a final answer. Now let's try an example. So this example is evaluate negative two-fifths minus negative nine-eighths. Where do I start? Well, first we need to deal with the double negative. Since we're subtracting a negative, this is the same thing as adding. So the expression simplifies to negative 2 fifths plus 9 over 8. Now that we've taken care of the double negative, we can add the two fractions. We check to see if the denominators are the same, but in fact they're not. Now, we need to find the prime factorizations of 5 and 8 and see if they share any factors. 5 is already a prime number, so the prime factorization of 5 is just 5. 8, however, can be factored into 2 times 2 times 2. Unfortunately, they don't share any factors. This means the easiest way to get the same denominator in both fractions is to multiply 5 by 8 and 8 by 5, which leaves us negative 2, 5 times 8, plus 9 for 8 times 5. This doesn't look right. Good observation. We've actually changed the value of both fractions. We have to fix that. So what we need to do is multiply the numerator by the same thing as the denominator. This means that we're really multiplying by 1. Since 5 over 5 and 8 over 8 both simplify to 1. So the corrected expression is negative 2 times 8 over 5 times 8 plus 9 times 5 over 8 times 5. This simplifies to negative 16 over 40 plus 45 over 40. Now that we have the same denominator, we can simplify this further to negative 16 plus 45 over 40, which simplifies again to 29 over 40. Are we done? No. We need to check and see if 29 and 40 share any common factors, because if they do, they can be simplified. First, let's take the prime factorization of 29. Well, in fact, 29 is a prime number, so its prime factorization is just itself. Now let's try 40. 40, which we know is the product of 8 and 5, so its prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. We look and see. And unfortunately, these two numbers don't share any prime factors, so there's nothing to cancel. That means we have arrived at our final answer, 29 over 40. So if two negative fractions are being subtracted, the first step is to get rid of the double negative. The second step is to make the denominator the same. The third step is to add the numerator. And then the fourth step is to simplify? That's exactly right. 